Before David died, he gave some advice to Solomon how he was to rule as king. He said, be strong and brave and always follow God's commands. Uh, Kill Joab. He murdered two commanders of Israel. Abner, the commander of Saul's army, and Amasa, his own cousin. He didn't kill these people in battle. No, he murdered them in time of peace when they trusted him. Oh, don't let him grow old peacefully. You know that Shimei cursed me when I ran from Absalom and left Jerusalem. He begged for his life, and I, I, I said he could live. Now it's up to you to judge him. Uh, 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 d deal with him according to your wisdom. After this, David died and was buried in Jerusalem. He had, he had ruled all of Israel for 40 years. Sometime after that, Adonijah went to Bathsheba, the king's mother. He said, now, now, now you know that all of Israel uh, thought that I would be the next king, but I accepted Solomon as king because it was God's will. Uh, now, I, I just have one little request. Well, what is it? Well, you know, the king won't refuse you anything if you ask for it. So please go to the king and ask that I could have David's nurse to be my wife. So Bathsheba went to talk to the king. Solomon stood as she walked in the room and asked her to come sit next to him and he had a throne brought in. When she sat down, she said, I, I just have one request, a small request. Uh, please don't refuse me. Oh. Solomon said, uh, Mother, you know I, I, I will give you anything. All you have to do is ask. Well, I... I, I simply uh, want you to allow uh, Adonijah to take David's nurse to be his wife. Solomon was, Solomon was shocked when he heard this. Well, you might as well be asking to make him king. Oh, this request will cost Adonijah his life. He will be dead before the night falls. So Solomon gave the order, and Ananijah was killed. One of the two high priests had supported Ananijah to become king. So Solomon took his job away from him, which fulfilled the prophecy since he was the last priest in the line of Eli. Joab knew that his time had come. So he went to the tabernacle and grabbed a hold of the horns of the altar. When Solomon was told about this, he sent a guard and said, go kill Joab. 
When he got there, the guard said, come out of there. Job said, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll die right here. So the guard went and told the king. The king said, well, do as he says. Kill him there. Because he murdered two commanders of Israel that were better than himself. So the guard went and killed Joab as he hung on to the horns of the altar. Then he was buried in his family tomb in Bethlehem. Solomon called for Shimei and said, You're to build a house in Jerusalem, and you're not to leave the city as long as you live. I am putting your life in your own hands. Jimmy, I said, that's fair. I will do as you asked. So he lived in Jerusalem for three years. After that time, two of his slaves ran away from him and left the city. Shimei went after them and caught them and brought them back to Jerusalem. When Solomon heard about this, he called Shimei in and said, You have ignored my command. Now you will, you will, you will give your life. You, you cursed David. And now his kingdom will live forever. So Shimei was killed. So Solomon established his rule over Israel. <laughs>